is coming. Okay, Coco Samoa. Really getting excited there. And boy, get that Samoan blood hot. And <laughs> you got a volcano on your hands there. And of course, the BNS Express, Ricky Santana and Brady Boone. Coco going to head back out to the ring for the second fall of our main event. Coco taking that first fall with a Samoan drop. On the Buddha Dean, you know, if you have a club or a school, a church, a group, an organization of some kind that you'd like to raise money for, you can do that by booking professional wrestling in your area to raise that money for charity. Just call Barry Owen. Barry said 503-484-0840, and Barry will give you all the information how you can book professional wrestling into your area to raise money for charity. Well, you can bet that all this action, these surprises, these shocks, this development now from the assassin. That's going to make a lot of news worldwide. It's going to be in wrestling magazines and newspapers across the country in the next uh, few days and weeks. And you certainly know you're going to be reading about it in WrestleMedia, our own uh, pro wrestling newspaper for the Northwest. And if you'd like to get a copy of this or find out how you can get a subscription you can write to wrestle media post office box 17202 portland oregon and the zip on that is 97217 okay second fall of our main event underway coco samoa holds the only fall right now and he's got Abuda Dean back on his back again, trying to get those shoulders down, and Abuda Dean crawling towards the turnbuckle, but Sandy Barr is right there, and he finally grabs onto the rope, and Coco says, uh -uh, come on back out here in the middle of the ring. This is where I want you. Make a wish. Make a wish. I wish he wouldn't do that. Remember, this is a, this is a family show, Coco. Let's be cool. This capacity crowd going crazy again right now. So it's going to be a long time before everybody calms down from the earlier events involving the assassin and Rip Oliver. Now we're talking about Finley on Sunday the 2nd. We're talking about Yakima on Monday, November the 3rd. J.M. Perry Tech. They're all going to be there. Later on in the month, of course, we're going to be in Milton Freewater on uh, Tuesday, November the 4th. On the 10th of November, we've got a big, big card scheduled for Mark Morris High School in Longview. So you folks in Longview, get ready for that one. November the 10th, Monday the 10th, in Longview at Mark Morris High School. On Monday the 17th, another big, big card coming to the Wenatchee Convention Center. Now, it will not be at the Armory. It will be at the new Wenatchee Convention Center on Monday the 17th. Boy, that's going to be a big card there. In fact, if you want to get your tickets for that one, you can at Hopkins Video City, North End 7-Eleven Store, and Swim World. If you'd like more information, you can call H and H Productions at 662-8877. That's Wenatchee, Monday the 17th. You know the assassin's going to be there. Look at that move by Coco Samoa. Right now, Buddha Dean's trying to figure out what hit him there. And why can't I shake this guy? He just keeps hanging on. Coco does. Another two count. Abuda Dean gets that right shoulder up. This is best two out of three to a TV time limit. And that time limit will become a factor here very shortly. And Abuda Dean finally gets Coco. 
shoulders down. Coco grabs the rope, and that'll force a break. I hope we have a chance to have an interview with Rip Oliver. I'd just like to hear what he has to say right now because he has to be very concerned about this turn of events. He has to be concerned about the fact that he put a couple of grand out to bring the assassin in. He flew him in, went out to the airport, took him up. And then the assassin turns on him. To the delight of this capacity crowd, and I'm quite sure to the delight of most of the fans in the Northwest. Buddha Dean using that top rope. Whip Coco back. Buddha Dean moving. Ah, he just took a headbutt from Coco. And now he takes a right hand from Coco. Coco warming up. And there's a chop to the midsection. There's a chop to the jaw. There's a headbutt. I don't know what's keeping Buddha Dean up. Well, there he goes down. A shoulder tackle. Over goes Coco. And oh, man. Coco. A Buddha Dean was just waiting for him. He threw him into those ropes, cut his, cut his neck in the ropes, hooked him in. One, two, three. We are all even at one fall apiece. The second fall of our main event goes to a Buddha Dean over Coco Samoa. We'll be back to the third and deciding fall after this timeout. <laughs> 